What up fam, Wednesday morning pre-market watch list and this morning we're going to focus on one of my favorite setups which is known as the squeeze. So first let's talk about what the setup is and the potential significance behind it. A squeeze takes place guys technically when the Bollinger Bands begin to contract on any given time frame but you know, to me the way that I look at a squeeze and kind of the importance behind it especially as an options trader is that a squeeze takes place when you're not making a move to the upside and you're not making a move to the downside. Rather, things begin to contract. Implied volatility dies down, everything chills out for a little bit, and typically we see the market rest inside of a squeeze before making its next move to the upside or a potential reversal to the downside. So this morning, we take a look here at the S&P 500, super strong as of late, all-time high after all-time high. Yesterday, we didn't really move all that much. Heading into this morning's open, we got a good-looking squeeze here on the hourly charts. So one thing that I really love about the index itself being in a squeeze is that you know, myself and a lot of the traders in the focus trades group, we like to use the direction of the index as our quote-unquote compass. If the market is ripping to the upside, we're mainly looking to take place to the upside. And the same thing is true if the market rolls over. When we go into a consolidation like this on the hourly chart, we have a very clear idea of what the next potential move for the market could be once that squeeze is broken. Heading into this morning session, the squeeze could break out to the upside, rip to another all-time high. That momentum in the index could kind of trickle down to all the individual names on our watch list. If we roll to the downside and we break the squeeze and we begin to fade, that could impact the individual names as well. So heading into this morning, this is of interest to us, right? The index is in a tight consolidation. And if you look at some of the strongest names as of late, mainly Apple and Tesla, they're also in an hourly squeeze here this morning as well. So first thing we can do is take a look at Apple. Obviously, super, super strong as of late. But like the overall market yesterday, it didn't really move all that much at all. The Bollinger Bands are contracting. We now have a good looking hourly squeeze. So what we're probably going to be looking for here today in the group, we'll do some uh, live tape reading on this is looking for the squeeze breakout above resistance to a brand new all-time high or potentially the fade below the level of support out of the hourly squeeze to the downside. And one important thing guys when it comes to you know the squeeze but kind of day trading in general is you want to have you know the ATR of the stock you're looking at in mind. ATR stands for average true range for those of you guys that aren't familiar. The average true range just measures the average move the stock has made over the past 14 days. So when we're looking like something like Apple, it's got about a four point ATR right now. That means that any given day, based upon how it's been moving over the last two weeks, it's going to move four points to the upside or four points to the downside. So we take yesterday's close at 280. And we could expect on an average day today, if this thing is strong, a move towards 284. If the market is weak and this thing rolls over, we could expect a move towards 276. Based upon how Apple's been moving as of late, that's going to be an average move up or down. To the extent you start holding on, right? And you know how we are as traders, guys. We're greedy little fucks. We start holding on for more and more and more. The easiest move and the average move is going to be that ATR. You start holding on for more profits, all of a sudden you're holding on for something that's going to be an above average move. It can definitely happen, but that's going to be the easy trade is that ATR. So as we're doing our pre-market prep, I like to drop in a few lines here indicating where a full ATR move would be to the upside or down to the south. So let's take a look at crazy Tesla here. As far as the big picture of Tesla goes, I covered that in yesterday morning's video. So you guys can go take a look at that. We're not going to discuss that this morning. Same kind of you know conversation here. Super strong as of late, like the overall market yesterday, doesn't really move all that much, and you get this tight consolidation as the hourly chart is beginning to squeeze. ATR right now for Tesla is about 10 bucks and change. We closed yesterday at let's call it 379. We could expect a move on an average day up towards 389. We could expect a move on an average day to the downside to about 370, 369. So as we're looking for a potential breakout or a potential drop below support, from the hourly squeeze here, maybe today, maybe tomorrow, maybe Friday, that's kind of the move that we're looking for, right? The easy move is gonna be the average move. As of the last 14 days, the average move for Tesla is about 10 bucks up and down right now. That's the move that we'll be looking for. Meaning, if we get the breakout, and we take an entry in calls, or you know, however you go about this, that's the move that you're looking for. You start holding on for a bigger than a one ATR move, you're now hoping that the stock makes an above average move. And the truth is, guys, something like Tesla, 
a full ATR, right? A 10 point move is going to be more than enough profit for you if you get the proper entry. So think about it. If that's the average move the stock is making as of late, take that move, get the hell out of there and then move on with life. You start holding on for a little bit more. It's a little bit more unlikely. So that's the squeeze guys. We got a handful of those this morning on the hourly charts. I wanted to cover that with you guys who subscribe here on YouTube. For those of you in the focus trades group, we'll be live again this morning, 30 minutes before the open. We'll talk a little bit more about these squeezes and a few other ones in detail, and we'll get ready to make some money today. Thanks for watching guys. And if you haven't already subscribed and I'll talk to you all tomorrow morning.